October 2010, I began an artist in residency in Springvale. I held a series of comic drawing workshops with young children aged 5 to 12 from three local schools. This led to a series of interviews with students from the Heather Hill Primary School in 2011. Uh, when I came to Australia first time, everybody was speaking English and I only knew some of the English and I was feeling a bit sad. I was thinking, why is this called Australia? Um, my family comes from Eritrea, a place in Africa. Born Cambodian, my family's come from Cambodia to live in here. I come from New Zealand. I was born in Sri Lanka, and that's all. I was born in Australia. I was born in China. Um, my mum and dad, uh, they came from Pakistan. Um, I come from Tibet, but um, I came by walking with my mom and when we at Nepal we went by bus in t to India and I went to school, Tibetan school. Uh, <coughs> I was in a school called Woodland Overseas School and I was really strict um, because in India there are lots of people that are naughty and they have to go in time out. Mm. When we do something naughty we ha have a they have a stick and they hit on our hands. I didn't have any fun. Uh, the teacher does sometimes slap me because that's what Indians do. My dad he went he was in the war and I think we didn't want to go there anymore, so we came to Australia. Mm, we came we came to Australia because we have for the graphic like, ticket you put inside a box. Mm. Because at China, it was kind of boring. Um, because there was a big ass flat, so we wanted to go um, to here. And my dad's brothers taught them a lot, but um, my dad survived, and but my, his brothers didn't. We've been the tent in the house, and years and years we move it. Until we move it, we summer move it when they came by. And our dad used to be like kind of like a farmer. He had lots and lots of animals there. We didn't used to have seat bells in our car, and now we do. I feel different when I go to India. Um, it gets me a, a bit sad, and then I don't like it when I go to the. Got too many people. Ah, uh, fun and a little bit, a little bit of many people. Uh, it just feels like spring rolls like my country. I like it because um, there's a lot of fresh, fresh air and a lot of nature. Like flowers are growing everywhere, and they look mm. really nice. Well, it's very interesting because there's lots of Asians there, and there's lots of different people from different islands, and some are brown and some are white. Mm. Pretty nice and non-strict schools. You would probably want to live here forever, but. The government says that you can't live here forever. Why is that? I don't know, but they uh, don't allow too much. They don't trust them. There's people dropping rubbish everywhere and I don't really like it. Um, I was about to say, um, this is guy number nine. It's actually like very weird in the way because if I thought his parents and he's <coughs> another language and don't understand, he'd be like, blah, 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 blah. Do you know which language you speak? Spanish? Nah, I speak Muslim. Also. Greek? Nah, Muslim. Pakistani? Fine. <laughs> There's no problem for me because I like different people and different things. Exciting when people meet other people. It's weird. I'm proud of getting a best friend from another country. <laughs> Maybe let's just say two. <laughs> um, I am proud of coming to Australia. Do you feel that Australia is now your home? Tibet. Tibet's you're still your home? Yeah. Do you miss Tibet? Yes.
best moments is when I beat a Wii game called Poké Park Wii. Um, I cry whenever I achieve something. It's like the king of the jungle. He's like the lion, and he has a pride because he's proud of being the king. So it's mm-hmm. something like that. Wait, I think it's. Isn't that the shark? Is the king of the ocean? Maybe. Like what shark? <laughs> I think it's great white. Um, let's see. What's the king of the sky? The king of the sky is a bird. Eagle. Eagle. Yeah. Eagle. 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 No, I thought I thought like the king of the skies is God because he lives in he lives in the sky. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm Hindu. Like a little red. Yeah. Little red band. What does that little red band mean? Um, like God will always help you, and they will never ever forget you. Holy is also Holy. a celebration that you. Like you throw colors on other people and it's really fun. And there's water, these water guns that you spray. Yeah. Christian? Christian? Yeah. I'm Buddhist. Buddhist? Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Why do you believe? Religion is like you believe. Like, are you Christian? Well, maybe the Jesus sometimes because of the candy cane. You know, like. The candy cane, when you turn it upside down, it's a jake with Jesus. Oh! And it's made from Jesus. Uh, we, uh, when I go to Keysborough in high school, I have to wear a scarf. Uh, I wear it at home. Why do some Muslim women wear the scarf? They don't want like boys to see them. They don't like it. Me and my mom and my two brothers, we are all um, Catholic, but my dad is not a he's a buddha buddha but i don't really you know believe in him but the only god i believe in is probably the goddess of mercy yeah because the family convinced me in that as i say my mom always takes me to the ganesh temple <sighs> gives me a headache <laughs> I like to go to the Vishnu temple. <laughs> and I like going to Ganesh temple all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> we also have Hindi movies. And I have the most Ganesh movies. When my brother fights with me, I just pray to God and then it just gets over. Aww. And my mom comes and slaps us too. Um, I pick on nobody, but they pick on me. I have a couple of nemesis. She she does a play with me. It's about like like what you look like. Yeah, what my eye um, looks like. They have different kind of skin. It's like you can't tell because you have different skin. You know, one of my friends said to me, Asians are invading the school because there's lots of Asians here. Oh, okay. How does that make you feel? to get rid of that fat in my belly. I actually have a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, but I don't look like so because I'm not like my mom. Yeah. And do you know what dad eats goat's eyes and fish eyes? Would you eat fish eyes? No. Would you eat fish eyes? No way. Would you eat fish eyes? Never. Chicken's feet. Ew. Duck's feet. I can stuff an entire sandwich into my mouth. Wow. A small one and half one. Yeah. I can, sometimes, some people that are a little bit fat can do that.